Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be giving you a short wand curl hair tutorial. I think I said that right. But before I do get into today's video, and don't forget to be subscribed to my channel and have your post notifications on. I'm going to actually just be taking my hair out of my bun because I did have to do my makeup and I hate having my hair all up in my face. But I'm going to just part it in the middle. I have so many bumps in my hair because I've been having my hair up for two days. Ideally, I would have wanted to actually film this video the night that I actually showered my hair or washed my hair so that my hair wouldn't be this crazy. But I'm actually just brushing out all my tangles out real quick. I'm still not used to really having short hair, but because I do have K-tip extensions, guys, I am possibly going to just go back to longer hair because I'm not gonna lie, as much as you guys do love the short hair and as much as I love it, I don't love it enough to keep the length just because I feel like I can't do nothing with it. I'm so used to me just throwing it in a half up, half down, which it still looks good with short hair, but for my ideal taste, I'm just so used to styling my hair as if it was longer. I'm contemplating going longer. Let me know down in the comments whether you guys would like me to keep my short hair or go back to the longer hair look. So the way I start guys is I am actually going to be parting my hair in the back like almost midways and then tying the right side away just so it's not in your way. Just make sure your hair also does not have like any. I'm going to do another parting and keep in mind guys, I do have K-tip extensions in my hair right now and I do need to get it renewed already because I have so much outgrowth. So I'm gonna take another clip and then just clip this part out of the way. For this look guys, I am going to be using the Bellamy 6-in-1 curler set. It is a wand. I am such a sucker for wand curls like i just love wand curls over curling iron curls i just feel the look of it is better i feel that the curls don't wind up faster like with the curling iron i feel like all my hair ends up winding in together or intertwining together they do have interchangeable heads which i do love because normally with the longer hair if i would have had that i would have done like the tighter curls because that's normally like my go-to when i do like the half up half down look this hair right here i do consider short because i'm so used to having my extensions be super long this definitely to you guys might not be short but it is short to me i feel like there is a lot you can do with short hair but i'm personally not used to it because my hair is a little bit on the shorter side i do want to go in with a bigger wand head i am going with the biggest barrel size or the wand head size that comes in the set i will let you know that with short hair i do do my hair pretty freaking fast like I think that's one thing if I do go back to converting to longer hair, I will miss that part. So I'm going to basically be curling my hair using this wand and kind of just guiding you guys along with it. I don't use the glove that it actually comes with because I'm just used to curling my hair with the wand. Don't get me wrong, I still do burn myself every so often. Because I do have my K-tips, I can't go all the way to the root because I do have my outgrowth already. So I'm going to just curl away from my face and hold it in for i would say like 10 15 seconds i do have this heat setting at 410 i do like to have it at a higher setting that way i don't keep my hair on the barrel that long so it gives me this curl right here i have a piece of hair so i can't put it all the way to my root if you can then go for it but i have my k-tips on so i can't so i'm basically holding on to the little tip of the hair i do have nails so i feel like that kind of saves me from using the the glove i hate using the glove i cannot curl my hair using the glove but it gives me a curl like that for this whole side you're gonna curl away from the face and once we get to the other half that's when i'll curl the opposite way I feel like I struggle a little bit with curling my hair with short hair. I haven't really gotten used to it, but it has been nice. Like I said, being able to get ready with short hair because it doesn't take me as long. 
and I'm also used to like doing the high ponytails but with the short hair it's kind of been hard so I'm gonna go ahead and just take another little section and do the same thing if you do not have extensions in go ahead and take it and curl it from the root which I love curling my hair from the root or all the way to the root but at this moment I can't but I swear to you guys these curls are so freaking pretty and honestly just repeat the whole process throughout the whole head the biggest burrow size will actually give you like the beachy wave curls you can go with the smaller one if i do convert to longer hair i'll give you guys a tutorial on how i curl my hair using the small one just because i feel like it's tighter curls and just i just miss those curls so much i haven't tried it with the short hair just because i don't want to look like a little poodle but it's super simple guys and i feel like because the barrel size is bigger you can take bigger parting sections of your hair kind of sucks too that my hair is dark See, I feel like I'm already almost done with this whole section. Once we get to the top, because I don't have K-tips there, I'm going to actually curl from my root. Because as you guys can see right now, I'm kind of leaving like a good two inches out from root. So like right here, I have no K-tip. I'm gonna go ahead and take it all the way, all the way down from the root. When I first started using wand curls or the wand, oh my god, guys, I burnt myself so many freaking times from the freaking wand and you know how wands have like a hot tip right here because it doesn't you know like a normal curling iron will have like a tip well this one it doesn't because you don't need to hold it right there at the tip so damn i used to burn my shoulder really bad and it would hurt and it would give me a scar kind of hated it but with time you do get used to using a wand curler and you'll learn to love it because like the curls are amazing and like I said once I get to the root or the top of my head and that's when I will actually curl from root to ends but you do want to make sure you keep the tip of your hair like the ends because you don't want to curl that part too much that way it does give you like that beachy wave look when you curl from your root it actually gives you more of like a volumized look instead of it being so flat at the root and then at the end I do tease my hair just a tad bit not too crazy because my hair is a little bit on the thinner side so I lack that volume. I do like to add that volume in at the end, which I'll get to that later. But see how cute that already looks compared to the side. So now when I go to the back, I take a parting just in the middle, like all the way in the back. And I keep that going the same direction that I've been doing with my hair. I basically still curl that way. It's 
kind of harder too when you get to the back of the hair, especially with the short hair because I remember when I first curled my hair with my short hair, I freaking burnt myself on my shoulder. And then also try to keep your partings consistent, like keep the same amount of hair for each curl. Now that I'm at this section, I'm going to go ahead and curl away from my hair. So we are actually changing up the direction. So now we are going to be curling away from your face. You're going to take a small section down here and then clip away your hair. Like I said guys, at this point is when you're going to be curling away from your face, still holding on to that tip because you don't want to curl all the way from the root to end at this point. And then just keep that same technique going for this whole side. So now that I am to my root guys, I'm going to be curling from root to end, still holding on to that end. Almost done guys. I feel like wand curls for me are easier to do than regular curling iron curls. And I feel like wand curls look better. Well for me, it's all preference though. So. And voila, we are done with the curls, guys. At this time is when I'm just going to go around the crown of my head. And I'm going to just tease a bit. Nothing major. I'm not even going to be spraying my little tease with hairspray. My hair is a little dirty, so it'll basically hold its little tease. I feel like my hair is easy to work with when it's a little dirty. I mean, preference on teasing your hair is totally up to you. I'm not going to tease too much because I don't want like, super big hair. I just need enough volume to make it look like I have volume. <laughs> I just need enough volume in my hair, which I think that's fine. I'm going to be taking my hairspray. This one is in the mini. It's the Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play and I freaking love it. So I'm just going to just spray my hair and voila guys, I am completely done. So where do you, this is why I live for wand curls. It gives you like the best outcome, I swear. This concludes today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little hair tutorial on short hair. Like I said, 
please do not come for me if this is not your definition of short hair but for me it is to many of you guys it is as well i do normally tend to go with the longer 24 inches 22 inches of hair so this right here is considered short hair to me but hopefully you guys did enjoy this little video please let me know down below in the comments whether you guys prefer wand curls or if you guys prefer curling iron curls i would love to hear that but don't forget to comment share like and subscribe and my winner for the hundred dollars plus worth of makeup and post notification shout out goes to jennifer reno so you should have received an email from me by now and for today's video guys i'm going to be giving another hundred dollars plus worth of makeup so all you have to do to be my next winner and post notification shout out is be subscribed to my channel have your post notifications on hit the little bell and comment down below showing some love and also make sure to leave your email address that way if you are my next winner i'll be able to email you i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video